You guys were a wrestling duo. That's right. In San That's Francisco? Right. Mm-hmm. In San Francisco. It was uh, incredibly strange wrestling. We both did it for about seven years. <laughs> I, were you I a was team never for seven years. We we were Off kind of a part of we were part of the roster of wrestlers, and we, behind the scenes we were we were writing a lot of the storylines. Right. Um, and Bob was the announcer, so he kind of had the best judgment of the writers because he didn't really have any stakes in who won or lost. Oh, right. You know, like when you're wrestling, you kind of ha- you. <laughs> it's so funny because you have this feeling like. Yeah, I did great. And yeah. you see the video and it's like, oh no, <laughs> that was really awful. But if people ch- are cheering and you're in this kind of phony fight, right? It's there's nothing probably better or worse for your ego to win a fake fight in front of people. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's it sounds a lo- awesome it, kind of like oh like, yeah I it's think totally Clint Eastwood fun. has talked about that <laughs> yeah. about how he's this fake tough guy right and he's like there's not that that has to be the most reward and then yeah. to watch a video of it yeah and to yeah. see what's actually happening or if you get hurt sometimes I got hurt you know and right because you were just messing around but it was I didn't know what I was doing at all at first uh, I, the 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 story the story of how I got yeah. started was I was trying to do I was in San Francisco and I wanted to do like those cool rock and roll posters um you, you know like the a, graphics or like like uh frank kozik or coop right. posters they're screen printed okay i just had no equipment or budget to do any of that kind of stuff. i had photoshop right. sure so i was trying to do flyers and stuff in town i was going to shows all the time and i went to this incredibly strange wrestling show and i got pretty hammered watching right. it it was a great show <laughs> uh, if, if for people that don't know it was like a band then they would have a set of wrestling, and it was, it was comedy slash real wrestling, quote unquote real wrestling. Okay. Um, and, and then and, and then a set they would like be alternate band wrestling, band wrestling. Wow. And, and and it was a crazy thing, and they would have you know punk bands. Uh, they did. It was a Valentine's Day show. What year is this? This is nineteen ninety six. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they had a val. I went to the Valentine's Day edition of okay. Incredibly Strange Wrestling, and they had a thing where you win a date with a wrestler. And okay. They pulled uh 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 you know the name the name out, and the the wrestler that was up. They had these kind of kind of uh, you know lady wrestlers with masks and okay. capes and stuff. Yeah. And then then El Homo Loco came out, and El Homo Loco. Is a genius. He's a com- utter. He's a physical comedian. Okay. He's he's got incredible charisma. He, and he's still around. He doesn't wrestle anymore, but he's okay. still around. He's still with us. He lives okay. in Portland, and he doesn't doesn't Portland, wrestle. Portland, Oregon. Yes. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't right. he live in Portland, Oregon? Okay. Yeah, he moved. He mm-hmm. moved. He moved on in many ways. Right. But uh, but man, he was His so name was funny. El Homo Loco. El Homo Loco, a genius. Okay. <laughs> like Which that, is that hilarious alone. name. Yes. Yeah. So funny. Um. He he was the guy that uh, was up next, and they pulled the name, and there was like a brief second where even in San Francisco, nobody said anything or did anything. This pause, right? And I just like that's it. I won, and I ran in. I had, I didn't even have my ticket, I don't think. And I ran into the ring and ran the ropes, and then I you know went yes and held my hands up and. You won the you I, won I the cheated. date with El Homo I Loco. I, oh, you just che- I just, just strong armed your just, way. I just ran into the ring. You're yes. like I'm going to be the guy. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy who won. <laughs> 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 that is the greatest story in the world. So so I won a date with him. Yes, and, and it wasn't really a date. It right. was tickets to a show. Uh, I think it what was kind a, of show. It was a WCW pay per view at the oh. Cow Palace that I actually already had tickets for. A wrestling show. Uh, yeah, it was a wrestling show. Okay. And and, and I, I I met the people ba- backstage right. and they and gave and me Bill. their number and I called I called it and it ended up being the person who ran it and I said, uh, "Here's a pitch. How about <laughs> <laughs> let's say I went on this date, right? Right. And it went so poorly." That I had to come back and avenge myself, and oh. and because it, because it was such a disaster. And she said, "That's great. Uh, you're on the next show." <laughs> and okay. That's how I got started.